And we're back. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Yep. I even spit in your drink for you. I have charcoal, the hilt, and... Good job. Let's have it then. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the Master and Sasal do for us. Look at that, lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Dandavino. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Rudzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. At least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. Well, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts with you, so what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Looks like we're doing a burn through. Not that I've already seen this already, but... Do we're it. doing a burn through. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. There's a nice looking sword though, to be honest. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague, a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. Oh, 
It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Oh, yes, yeah, sir, father. <laughs> oh, well. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. Trial by combat. Fight. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsman. Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skill, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows? what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sman? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. Would have murdered everyone. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls, and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, say Have a safe journey to Saturday. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword. And then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. <laughs> you talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. You said you are one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. Then no, I'm not going to beat him. Sword play. Did you all see the smoke in the back? The messenger. Or something in the back? What's happened? Mm. 
Yep, definitely smoke. You're ugly. Get off the hill. And that's how I started a war. Listen to me now. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the truck. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her, I'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Rex. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. Alright, Papa. There's not much of the cinematic bit left. I just want everyone to get some idea of what's going on. Face. I mean, chest is close enough, I guess. Oh no, there's a cavalry hoe. Someone that probably lives all of his battles on a horse. Henry. All right. That was that. I know it was a long cut scene, but I wanted everyone to get some, some context of what was going on and why it went from, oh, well, we made a sword, and oh, well, I'm dying now. Had to, had to give some context behind that. Now, it did say game save, which lets me know that the game has, has saved. Uh, his sword shouldn't show up as... Yeah, okay, so it's not showing up as an actual weapon, but we can use it. And we can kill this guy, even though it is a pain in the balls. As you can see, it is really hard to kill the beginning dude. 
It is possible, but the chances of me doing it are slim. We'll, uh, we'll cut and we'll see if we can get this dude down. It is pretty freaking hard to kill the guy, but it is possible, so we'll see if we can do that. Uh, continue. Yeah. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, so we've tried it a few times. It doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to get it down. If you're really good at the combat, even without the skills, then you could probably get it down pretty easily. I am not that good at the combat. I mean, I'm okay, but... There's some YouTubers out there that play this game a lot, and they can they can do incredibly good with incredibly bad weapons, so. I'm just going to leave it. Alright, so what we need to do now, if you don't remember, we have to get a horse. Suck my nuts, mate. Hey, <laughs> jump on the horse, you dumb, dumb Henry. Oh, Henry, I swear to Jesus. Yeah. I think we saved that woman's life. I don't know. I don't know if there's any point to that, but I, I'm pretty sure we saved her life. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, save. No big deal. Oh, okay, we're running. So I'll obviously have to rewatch through a lot of the the footage, but the headset I have, um, it's Bluetooth and Bluetooth kind of sucks. And for some reason, I think the headset had like 10, 10, 15 feet, I think, something like that of range. Uh, that is not yeah. okay. Come on. Um, I am maybe eight feet away. And I am disconnecting a lot. So if this this audio is really grainy and stuff, we'll never, that, am I getting hit? Uh, it'll be kind of useless. The uh, footage will. Hopefully I don't die. For some reason I was getting murdered left. right there. Elmo gets to the left along the stream. Bye, buddy. Have fun. Man, these dudes are up my butt right now. So there's a little ride. Nothing too long. Go! They'll kill you all. Yeah. Got some good stamina. Let's get her going again. Like that 
Stamina back again. Come on, come on, horsey. We're gonna die if you don't hurry up. Come on, horsey. Mush, mush. Come on. If I get killed this close, cause that, that's Talenberg right there. I better not get killed right here. That'll be really disappointing. Okay, we made it. Nice. Go, go, go! Shoot these hoes! Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? <laughs> well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Oh, that's gotta feel good. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Dibbish. Can you manage? This will be the last thing that we're gonna. I'm gonna make y'all watch. I just want everyone Sorry. to understand what's going on. This is a survivor from. I heard Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned scallops to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scallops is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help. 
even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Alright, I guess that's that's it. We're still loading. Uh, I guess that's it, everyone, we're going to do for this episode. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to be a playthrough or not. Um, probably won't. If I do, if I play this, I'll, uh, I'll do some, I'll do a video on it. But, uh, don't expect a playthrough. Um, this is just like, I was, I'm just, was kind of bored and was wanting to pass the time. And there was this, and I was like, alright, let's play that. So, uh... Like I said, yeah, don't expect a whole playthrough, but maybe, maybe, I don't, I don't know. That being said, I will see you all some other time. I hope you all have a good time, whatever time that is, wherever you are, and I will see everyone in the future.